Michael Chesson there just telling Aidan Cregan to wait a minute. Cregan holding his hands up, and I think there's something wrong with Cregan's escort there. Not quite sure what it is, but obviously problems for Aidan Cregan. No, he's all right now. Everything safely buckled up. The belts are on, the gloves are on. Bill Chesson's waves at the other drivers, runs across the track. And in the centre of the grid, Terry Southern, 37, makes a break for it. Cregan on the inside, Dave George around the outside. And also coming through there, looks like... Uh, no, it is Dave George, in fact. Dave George, excellent run in the blue and white escort. Gets in front of Terry Southern. Now, Southern had a tremendous run in the first qualifying heat and won comfortably. Can he do it uh, this time, or is Dave George going to leave him standing? And we've lost somebody, somebody's rolled. Down at the bottom there, one of the minis, I believe, has rolled. And he obviously hit the bank down at Chessington has gone completely over onto his side. I'll try and pick out who that is. Keith Rosh, 501, Keith Rosh is the mini that's on its side. He's trying to get out of the car there. Now, Keith Rosh, you may remember, we used to see him in a red mini. It is the same car, but now it's been resprayed. Keith Rosh. Thankfully appearing somewhat unhurt, looking around, I'm sure feeling quite foolish at having to climb out of the car there like that, but it's always good to see a driver being able to get out. And the flags are waving. I, they haven't stopped the race yet. Well, I've noticed as the cars go past us, they certainly haven't stopped the race. They're going to leave the car there, I should think, but it is in a dangerous place. All the yellow flags waving. And Dave George going through. Now, this side of Dave George's car looks okay, but when this car gets to the elbow you watch it as it goes round because there's a very large dint underneath the back of that escort and I wonder in fact dent sorry <laughs> just realized what I said there's a large dent in the back of the car and I wonder if that's what caused Keith Rush to go off let's just watch him as they come through Terry Sadden still there in second place and in fact the back of the escort is stoved in just behind the wheels, that's Cregan sliding that escort round in characteristic rear-wheel drive fashion. And just look at the way Terry Stoughton is now sizing up to overtake Dave George. And uh, Terry Stoughton now is filling the mirrors of Dave George. I'm sure Dave George is quite aware that Terry's there. And Terry's just looking for any slight mistake he might make. And in fact, Dave George car is minus its left rear. And Cregan, sorry, and that's Mark Flaherty. Mark Flaherty there tried to come through. He appeared from absolutely nowhere there, Steve, as you were talking, and he went straight through the chicane. Now, do you think he had any chance at all of overtaking at that point? Certainly looks a little bit optimistic, Bill. Well, that's one way of putting it, Steve. I would have put it slightly stronger, but he came charging through there trying to overtake Aidan Cregan. In fact, the speed at which he came into our picture, I thought it was Cregan. But still the order, Dave George first as they go up the hill. And second place, Terry Sowden. Sowden has dropped back. And when you were saying that, and there, in fact, there's part of the uh, rear wheel arch is missing on Dave George's car. That's what's uh, causing that large gap in the back of the Escort. And you can see now that the track is drying out. There is dust rising from the track. So I think that the, the uh, times are going to get even faster as we head to the final. And the checkered flag is out. This is the point where Mark Flaherty came storming through. He's some way back there now. And Aidan Cregan's gone. Cregan has gone off and spun. Now, where is Mark Flaherty? He will have seen that. He will have put his foot down to try and catch the escort driver. Anyway, the checkered flag is out. And there is the winner coming through now. A terrific race. Dave George will be over the moon with that. Dave George first. Terry out in second, and this was the man that was in third place, Aidan Cregan. He has spun again, so third place, in fact, goes to Mark Flaherty.